Yeah, morning everyone. Yes. Also, I thank God who gave us this precious time uh, to share the heart of God today in the morning. Uh, let us open the Bible. First King chapter uh, chapter 14. Yeah, first King chapter 14, verse 7 to 9. First King chapter 14, verse 7 to 9. Go tell Jeroboam, thus says the Lord God of Israel. Because I exalted you from among the people and made you ruler over my people Israel and tore the kingdom away from the house of David and gave it to you and yet you have not been as my servant David who keep my commandment and who follows me with all his heart to do only what was right in my eyes. But you have done more evil than all who were before you, for you have gone and made for yourself other gods and molded images or provoked me to anger and cast me behind your back. Verse 19, now the last of the ark of Jeroboam, how he made war and how he reigned. Indeed, they are written in the book of the Chronicle of the King of Israel. The period that Jeroboam reigned was 22 years. He rested with his fathers. Then Nahab, his son, reigned in his place. Yeah, morning once again. Hallelujah, I'm very happy before God also who gave us this time and to share the heart of God. Really, I'm not the one who can understand the heart of God well, but I believe that by the grace of God, also God will give us grace to share and to give us uh, his heart for the sea in our life. For me, every day, every day, while we are studying this Bible, really, it is so blessing in my heart, and really, it is the grace of God in my heart. Uh, today, uh, we are going to see about this First King chapter fourteen. Uh, yesterday, uh, really, we are able to see. Uh, really, we can see that uh, also uh, how, uh, because really we can see how the word of God, uh, sort of the man of God appeared to Jeroboam. Really, I can see that God gave him time to repent before God. Is it right? That's why God sent the man of God from Judah and God spoke to them, spoke to him, and also he revealed a sign. But really we can see that uh, really in the heart of Jeroboam, instead of he repent before God, but we can see that he continue, he follow his own way and trust his thought. So today, through this uh, chapter 14, what we are able to see through chapter 14, we are able to see that how God finished this house of Jeroboam. And also we can see also Jeroboam, he, he died. And also King Luoboam, also he died. So really I could see that yet God gave them grace of God to be a king of Israel. 
But what is the position of king of Israel? It doesn't mean that oh, this is the king of Israel. That's why they should do whatever they want. But really, if they live like this, really we could see that how it is so miserable and how it is so cursed in their life, even in Israel. Really, we can see that this chapter 14, how this king Jeroboam and how this king Loboam, he perish in before the Lord. That's why we are able to see clearly through this chapter 14. And really, what is a sin of Jeroboam? If you think again, what was the sin of Jeroboam? Because Jeroboam, he served idol and other god. That was the greatest sin. Because yet God, he is the one who established Jeroboam. And God, he is the one who established Jeroboam to be a king of Israel. But he began to believe himself, he thought, that's why when he realized that when his people going to Jerusalem for sacrifice before the Lord, they will betray me and they will return to the house of David. That's why he stopped them to go there and he made a high place in the, on the mountain. And also he made a golden harp so that he said that this is a God which they brought you out of Egypt. And even not just by the, uh, also not, Levit, uh, not Levi and just ordinary people they made as a priest. So really what Jeroboam he did, what he did, he made Israel not serve God, serve this idol. That was the greatest sin, greatest sin in the eyes of God. That's why you know, he promised to destroy all these people. But now you are able to see that. Oh, uh, but really he God said that before he perished the house of Jeroboam, and actually he said that he's going to save the one, uh, he's going to save one man out of the uh, from the out of this. Uh, this house of Jeroboam. That's why if you see this Bible from the beginning, and now you can see that the son of Abi, son of Jeroboam, who is Abia, was sick. So we can see the Bible. At the time, Abia, the son of Jeroboam, becomes sick. And Jeroboam said to his wife, please arise and die, uh, discuss yourself that they may not recognize you as a wife of Jeroboam and go to Silo. Indeed, Aiza, the prophet, is there who told me that I would be a king over Israel. Also take with you 10 love, some cakes, and a jar of honey and go him he will tell you what will come become of the child so you can see that uh, Abijah the son of Jeroboam was sick at the time so the Jeroboam said so Jeroboam sent the wife to go to Silo where there is Abijah actually he is the one who said to Jeroboam that he is on who would be a king of Israel. So he sent his wife there. But as you know that already, already king in the Ahijah, he knows, he knows because already God said to Ahijah, now the Lord has said to Ahijah, here is the wife of Jeroboam coming to ask you something about her son for he is a sick. Does and does you shall say to her, for it will be when he come it, then she will pretend to be another woman. So really now, Ahijah become old, he cannot see, but God has said to him everything. That's why it is easy for him to uh, to say to to this wife because you may know that how 
this Ahija may speak, may know everything because already God has spoke to Ahiza mm -hmm. and who is this and what he should say. That's why it is very easy. Now, uh, first, what God wants to say to Jeroboam? If you see verse 7, where we read, he rebuked the heart of this uh, Jeroboam. Go tell Jeroboam, that says the Lord God of Israel, because I exhort you from among the people and made you rule over my people Israel. Yes, God, he is on who raised this Jeroboam to be a king of Israel and tore the kingdom away from the house of David and gave it to you. Yet you have not been as my servant David, who keep my covenant and who follow me with all his heart to do only what, what, what was right in my eye. So yet God has established him as king of Israel, but instead of follow and serve God like David, but really he didn't do it. He starts serving so many evil things. But you have done more evil than all who were before you. But you have gone and made yourself and other God and boarded image to provoke me to anger and have cast me behind your back. So I think this is the most, most like a cursed word towards, towards God. Is it right? You have done more evil than all who were before you. And you have gone and made yourself other God and more image to provoke me to anger, have cast me, have cast me behind your back. How it is so despising, how it is so despising, isn't it? Towards God. Really, we can see the first God rebuke the sin of Jeroboam, isn't it? Yet God has given him everything and divide the house from the house of David and gave him. But Jeroboam, he didn't follow the way of David and he continually made golden carp and read other people to serve God, not serve God. And the way how he said it, you cast me back, you are back. Isn't it? So really we can see the how it is so bad. So everyone really, or if you can see this word, right? Have cast me behind your back. Chest away, chest away God. Really cast God where? Behind me. It means that not in front of me, isn't it? It's not in front of me. It is like behind me. So it means that he doesn't see God. Is it right? He doesn't see God. So he just put God is behind. So really, if you see this mess, this, this word, what God has said, I can see what about if God is in front of us? That each and every time, isn't each and every time, we may see that God, is it right? We may see that God in front of us. But now, if it is just behind, and if it is just behind, really, we cannot see anything what is there, right? What is there? So really, we can see what he did. He just put, he just put God behind him so that he did everything. He doesn't care God, right? He doesn't care God. And just he did whatever he wants. So really we can see that this is the most evil in the eyes of God. So also I was able to see what about even in my heart? What about even in our heart? Isn't it? Also in our heart, we are able to live in this way. Also in our heart, Oh, really, this is which story is this? This is whose story is this? Really is uh, God going to show us the way how Jeroboam lived also in the same way you are living in this way. Is it right? We could see that when this King Jeroboam, 
So now, finally, what we are able to see. So what we are able to see that God, how he did, verse 10. Therefore, behold, I will bring these sisters on the house of Jeroboam and will cut off from Jeroboam every male in Israel, born and free. I will take away the lament of the house of Jeroboam as one take away refuse until it is gold gone. The dog shall eat whoever belong to Jeroboam and die in the city, and the bird of the air shall eat whoever die in a field, for the Lord has spoke. Rise therefore, go to your own house. When your feet enter the city, the child shall die. So really, this time, God really showed them how he's going to punish this house of Jeroboam. Now we are able to see because of one man, right, Jeroboam, because of sin of Jeroboam, all this Israel, they are perishing. Is it right? Yes, even Bible says, through one man disobedience, many will made, many will made a sinner, but through one man obedience, Many will made righteous. Is it right? Yes, in the same way, the yes, same way, also this Jeroboam, because really he has a sin. That's why not only, not only he uh, like uh, perish his house himself, but we can see the whole Israel, they are perishing. You remember how they are perishing, though they didn't perish immediately we are able to see that um, really God uh, punishes this house, isn't it? God punishes this house and perishes it. And now if you read verse 19-20, now the rest of the ark of Jeroboam, how he made war and how he reigned indeed they are written in the book of the Chronicle of Kings of Israel. The period that Jeroboam reigned was 22 years. He rest in the fathers and the Nadab does his son reign his place. So today also we are able to see for 22 years what Jeroboam did. Eh? For 22 years what Jeroboam he did. So if you check for 22 years, what Jeroboam he did, all his life, he made the people to serve, not God, to serve idol, this golden cart, because of he wanted to protect himself. He made a golden part and put it on the high place and he read all Israel to serve God. Is it right? So that is only what he did, and then he made whole Israel to perish. So really, we are able to see who is Jeroboam. Really, it's not others. Really, God wants to show us, I'm the one who is Jeroboam. Really, we can see that the way how Jeroboam lived. What about brother and sister? Don't you live like the way of Jeroboam? What about in your life for 22 years? When he was reigning Israel, how he did? He was struggling to protect himself. He was struggling to serve idol, and he was trying to lead others, not serve God, to serve idol to protect himself. In the same way, what about if we check our life? Am I live for serving God or serving my life, my life or my flesh? Am I trying to keep protect myself or God is protect myself? Really, I can see that several times, I'm the one who tried to protect myself. I tried to protect my family. I tried to protect, I tried to protect my family. I tried to protect my position. I tried to protect my church, which is mine, mine, mine. And also serving idol, not serving God. Serving my flesh, serving idol means serving my flesh. 
really in our heart. Many times we are on the way of uh, Jeroboam. Is it right? Really, we are on the way of Jeroboam. So now when you read um, this first king and second kings, because we can see continually there is talking about the south, um, um, south Judah and North Israel, isn't it? And now you can see that even both Jeroboam. So now from verse 22, no, 21 to 31. So from verse one, chapter 14, from verse 1 to verse 20, explain about how King Jeroboam and Israel, they perish. Explain how God punished them and how Jeroboam finished it. And also from verse 21 to 31, explain how King Luoboam, he died. Is it right? But now you are able to see it's showing like this, showing like this, but you can see that both of them, they, the way how they live is almost the same. Isn't it? That's why really God said that he's going to finish it completely. Isn't it? According to this word, finally, this South Judah perished by Babylon, right? Babylon, and also uh, North Israel perished by Asur. Asur. So really we can see how, what, how God finishing this Judah and Israel because these two kings, they go their own way. They trust themselves, believing themselves, not following the guidance of God and heart of God, just they did according to what they want. Is it right? So now this chapter 14 from verse 21, 22, 21 to 31, also showing how this king Luoboam also he finished. Is it right? Yes. You know, you are able to see that because you remember like uh, Jeroboam, he chased away the priest Levi. And then because he tried to make uh, these ordinary people as a priest to solve golden carve and even high place because Levi cannot listen. That's why this Levi, who was in Israel, all these priests, Levi, they returned to Judah, Judah. And the time they are able to see that this country was peace. And then uh, they are able to serve God because the priest, this Levi, who are running away from Israel, from Jer King Jeroboam, they came to the Jerusalem, came back to the Jerusalem, and they start serve God together. So you can see uh, for Second Chronicle chapter eleven, Second Chronicle chapter eleven, verse thirteen. So Second Chronicle chapter eleven. So Second Corinthians chapter eleven verse thirteen, and from all their territories, the priest and the Levi, who were in all Israel, took their stand with him, for the Levi left their common land, their possession, and came to Judah and Jerusalem, for Jerusalem and his son had rejected from serving as a priest to the Lord. Then he appointed for himself priest for the high place, for the demon and the carved idol which he had made. After the Levi left those who, those from all the tribe of Israel, such as set their heart to seek the Lord God of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice the Lord God of their father, so they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Luboam, the son of Solomon, strong for three years because they walked in the way of David and Solomon for three years. So, so you are able to see very interesting is 
Because of King Jeroboam, these real Levi and priests, they chest away. They put in the normal people. So this, the, the priest and Levi who chest away from King Jeroboam, all of them, they came back to Judah and Jerusalem. So they said, with all their heart, they served God, isn't it? Then this Bible said for three years, three years, and they are able to, the conduct. The country becomes strength and they follow and they, 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 God has been happy. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. But why this Bible says it's three years? Three years. Why this Bible say it is a three years? First so chapter 12. Second Chronicle chapter 12, verse 1. Now it came to pass when Luoboam has established the kingdom and had strengthened himself, then he forsook, forsook the law of the Lord and all Israel along with him. And it happened in the fifth year of King Luoboam that Sishak, king of Egypt, came up again to Jerusalem because they have Christ again is the Lord. So now what you are able to see that. <clears throat> so really, you know, even though we are serving God, it doesn't mean that God, even though we again is God, it doesn't mean that God punished. But really I can see that in his time, really God is watching everything and he did it. So really you can see that as I say to you that Luobam has established the kingdom because of the, this priest serve God all sincerely. But after Luobam had established a kingdom and had a strength in himself, it means after three years, and he forsook the law of God, the law of the Lord, and all Israel along with him. And it happened in the fifth years, the king Luobam that Sishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem because they had a transgressed against the Lord. Right? So really we are able to see that uh, how this King Luobam is so foolish and so foolish, isn't it? And also this uh, first King chapter 14 from verse 21 to 24 explain how, how this King Luobam turning away from God and then he continually uh, serving the idol and again is the Lord. And also you are able to see they mention and continue that who is mother, who is mother, mother is uh, Nama from Ammonite. Is it right? Though this Bible didn't explain about what mother did, isn't it? But this Bible repeat and mention uh, Luwam's mother is Nama from Ammonite, who is Ammonite, right? So we are able to see how also their uh, effect because verse 21 and verse 31 mention continually the mother of Luhobam is Amana, is from Ammonite, right? It means that also it is connected with the sin of Luhobam is connected with the mother's tribe because, because mother is serving this milgom, serving this idol. That's why also you are able to see how in the heart of in the heart of this King Luhoboam, how easily, easily his heart turning away from God. Is it right? Is it right? So really it is so sad. So really while we are able to see how even this Luhoboam he perished his kingdom, and also he died. So today, we are able to see through the story of the King Luhoboam, King Jeroboam, we are able to see really what they did. Really, they did nothing. They only served their flesh, served idol, and again is Lord, and not serving us sincerely, just serving their flesh. That's why not only their life, even their family, really whole Israel, even both Judah and Israel, we are able to see how they perish by the, by the Babylon, Babylonians and also uh, Asru. 
really brothers and sisters. Through this, we are able to reflect in our heart and check in our heart. What God wants to show us, really God wants to show us that also easily we are following on the way of Luoboam, on the way of uh, Jeroboam. When we are challenged and difficult, with all our heart we serve God. But when our situation getting better, become comfortable, then what we do? Yes, just we forsake God and start serving the flesh, serving the idol, serving our flesh. Is it right? Even like a King Jeroboam, yet he received a grace. Yes, by the grace of God, yet he was nothing, but by the grace of God, God separated the country from house of David to him. But God was expecting him to serve God sincerely the way how David followed, but it was different. He trust himself, he believed himself, that's why he is the one who tried to protect himself, right? And tried to protect himself. That's why really we can see that how he did. Not only his family perished, he made whole Israel to not serving God, making all Israel serving their flesh, serving the idol. It was a great evil in the eyes of God. Through these two kings, how they finish in, this, in their life, through this, we have to check before God, what about who am I before God? What about my heart? Really, am I live like this Jeroboam and Luoboam, or I'm different? Really, God wants to show us who I am before God, so that we are able to repent. Jeroboam, even though he got a chance to repent, but he didn't repent, he despised. So please, not just despising the heart of God, really, we are able to check before God, and heart of God. Yeah, thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.